Linear algebra oftentimes comes into play when you're working with an n-dimensional random vector x. So if you let x be a random vector of random variables, x1, x2, up to xn, and typically x will be treated as a column vector, that is an n by 1 vector of random variables, then you know that if x were a univariate random variable, you would have a population mean mu and a population variance sigma squared. Well, what do those generalize to in n dimensions? First thing you have is you now have a vector of means, mu sub x1, mu sub x2, mu sub xn. That is the n-dimensional analog of mu. And the n-dimensional analog of sigma squared is the variance covariance matrix sigma. And this has the variances of the various random variables on the diagonal. And on the off-diagonal elements, you have the covariances. So this is a symmetric matrix that is known as the variance covariance matrix. Here is an example. How is it that you generalize the definition of variance? Well, for a one-dimensional random variable x, you know that the variance is the expected value of x minus mu squared. That's simply the defining formula for the population variance in one dimension. For an n-dimensional random vector x, the variance covariance matrix will be the expected value of x minus mu times x minus mu transpose. Now, to check this out, at least to check the dimensions, x and mu are both vectors and their dimensions are n by 1. So you get an n by 1 vector here when you take their difference. When you transpose x minus mu, that's going to give you a 1 by n. You can multiply an n by 1 vector times a 1 by n vector and their product will be an n by n matrix. So now we have the expected value of a matrix and you might guess that in this particular case the expected value operator is simply to take the expected value of all of the entries of that n by n matrix. So I will leave it here as an exercise for you to multiply these out and when you do take the expected value and you will see that each of the entries will look just like they are up here in the variance covariance matrix.